Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. So good to he to be here with you, isn't it? Ah, let's see. We are having some difficulties here, and that's it. We're good. It, well, again, welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa. What a beautiful and sunny and bright day it is right here where I am. Ha. Good morning, Grossa John, and good morning for all the viewers. Today, we're going to be talking about you. So what is it that we're going to be talking about? Today is National Mental Health Day. Today is also... October 8, which is my cousin's daughter's uh, birthday, and I love her tr truly. So I am sure she's in college right now. So I just wanted, the first thing I want to do is pay a tribute to uh, her and Alina, I love you and happy birthday. You know, sometimes we take our youngsters uh, granted that they to need the same attention, if not more, of uh, us saying, I love you. Other than the parents and everyone, it's not only giving presents or anything I have called, and I am doing this Facebook. So it's acts of, uh, acts of uh, random kindness, right? So I saw something today on Facebook, which was uh, Fox News had it about uh, Ellen DeGeneres that went to the Dallas Cowboy game. And she was sitting, of course, with the owners of Dallas Cowboys that they had invited uh, Ellen and Portia. So they're in the big owner's suite and her picture with President Bush. And there was so many people who had made remarks about her being uh, one of the top gay, lesbian entertainers sitting next to a conservative Republican person, a past president. And her thing was, you know what? Get over it, people. It's about being kindness. It doesn't matter who we are, what we are, what we do. And that's my message. It's about kindness to when I see a homeless and I have had many that I have helped and just stop and talk to them. Kindness to the person who is uh, delivering my mail. I, when it was really hot, I offered water every time he would walk in. Do you want some cold water? Kindness is appreciating the people who do things for you, mundane, your mail delivery, your trash pickers, the people who come and collect your garbage, as much as our family members, our youth. So human kindness, I think, is top priority. But more than that, how kind are you with yourself? That's today's message. Being a good human, doing good. So being that it is mental health and wellness, mental health awareness, I believe our physical health has so much to do with our mindset. How we, um, you know, there's people who are depressed, but they are very outgoing, out and about, and you would not know they are depressed until they come home. They're not gregarious, but you would think that they are subdued. So, and there are people who truly suffer from mental health. Mental health. So there is variations. When we go into a funk, are we depressed or are we just in a funk? And the, those are, there are those who are hospitalized and into, into institutionalized, but they're still human, right? So it doesn't matter if we are gay, 
straight, Republican, Democrat, if we are a teacher or CEO of a multi-billion dollar corporation. Long time ago, I learned, thank you, Mark, how are you? Long time ago, I learned that just because someone is highly educated does not mean they don't get depressed. Or if they are highly educated or highly rich does not mean they're a good human being, right? And it doesn't matter if someone is um, just delivering mail to you does not mean they don't have a golden heart and that they won't come and help you at times of need. It's just a job. And we all have a job. We all have something to do. So hopefully what we do makes a difference in someone else's life, either in our parents' life, making sure that our parents are well, that they are safe, that they are taken care of, or our siblings. And not everyone gets along. Boy, do I know that. Um, I have clients who have issues with that. So let me give you an example about good human. A good human is one of my clients that she's a nurse uh, in an ER, uh, at an ER, at a hospital. She's got two kids. She also helps her husband. She helps the mother-in-law. And also she takes care of her um, sister who's in a wheelchair and that her sister lives with her. She feels depleted. She feels overwhelmed. And she has no time for herself. So when she comes to therapy and we do this hypnosis, one of her things is, I find I give back to me. And she has been a people pleaser for as long as she remembers. And she thought by pleasing others that she would be loved. Because as a little girl, she thought being child number four, she was not loved, she was not seen. And in the last two months, she's dropped over nine pounds, which to her, it's huge. She's dropped three inches. Hmm. And although she still takes care of the kids, and now she's told her husband that she is not going to go and work at his place and help him, but they have found another assistant that a, a, a younger guy who needs the job to go and he is volunteering to help her, her husband. And of course, there's mom. She, they arranged to put her in an assistant living care, which is only one mile away from her house. Why am I saying this? Because until the time that she not, she was not seeing her own worth and her value, she was just depleting herself from energy. She was overeating. She was emotionally eating. She was doing all that just to feel good and uh, to fill that void that she had not given herself. So it's remarkable. It's remarkable the changes she is seeing in herself. So here's my question to you. How do you believe you are attending to yourself as much as others and giving 
and paying forward. Go ahead and share with me. Share another point of view that you may have. And I love to learn. I love to hear from you. I love to know that there is a different perspective because to me, this is how I become better so I can help my clients and you better, right? This is just a friendship. Mm, that said, woo, I love the gong. What rituals do you have at night? I know everybody's got a ritual in the mornings. Hello, Ashod. Hi, Arina John. Uh, everybody has, they ask about what is your ritual in the mornings? So I want to know what is your ritual to caring for yourself? And what is your ritual at night before you go to sleep? Because here's something else I do for me. I love this ritual. At night, when I get to bed, I've got my phone, right? The phone is never in the bed with me. But right before I roll over and sleep, um, I plug it in and I put it away. And I've got this word puzzle thing that I have to find words, you know, and it's all, all over the book. And I start the timer and I want to beat myself in finding 20 of the words less than a minute so and i do this puzzle thing and it's all to make my mind play a game while i'm doing this beautiful challenging myself and then when i do it i feel i've conquered something and it makes me happy and even if i don't to me is i challenged myself and that was good enough even if I do 11 of them, 12 of them, it doesn't mean that I failed. It's just, I didn't find it fast enough. Tomorrow is another day. So it's tending, appreciating me. Please. Hello, Catherine John. Hi, how are you, Catherine? I, we are talking about uh, caring for ourselves, caring for our loved ones. I was talking about one of my clients who was a, a people pleaser and now she started taking care of herself. And that has also made an impact, believe it or not, on her children because, you know, it's a rippling effect. You do good and then someone else sees it and they notice it, they watch it. And as it continues, that means they have to also follow suit. And then they start copying it in a positive way, right? This is not copying you to put you down, but becoming better. So I ask you, what is one thing you can do today that not only pleases you, makes you happy, and you create this beautiful thing as I started my 33-day challenge. Start a 33-day challenge of loving and giving back to you. Create this evening mute, uh, ritual that benefits you. And let the ones who live with you see it hear it feel it and become just like you mm. so hello okay let's see if this resonates amen yes mark my biggest cheerleader thank you for being here every week every week you know here's the thing when you don't show up one week, I wonder if you're not feeling well, Mark, because you have been consistent with me. Sometimes I feel obligated to show up just for you. 
And I hope my messages makes a difference in your life and everyone else who shows up. And if you are here, all of you who are here, by all means, show me an emoji, show me that you are here. And if it's a replay you're watching, by all means, hashtag replay. And hopefully today's message resonates with you. So I'm gonna take a moment. Oh, have a cup of coffee. I love hot, warm coffee. How do you take your coffee? How do you enjoy? And if you're not drinking coffee, what do you drink? What is your comfort drink? Hmm. Um, mental health day. Hmm. So allow me to say something. Mental health day. When we want to travel, we start thinking about where we would want to go. And we come up with, oh, I would like to go here and here and here, right? Until, until we make a choice where we want to go. And then if we're going go with somebody, we start having a conversation with them or invite someone to be with you. And then you start making plans. Once you are there, what would you like to do? How often do we do that for ourselves? What do I want to do for me? Where would I want to be a week from today? So at Heal Within, what we do not only through hypnotherapy, which I can help all my clients create a pattern, I coach you, I'm supporting you physically, mentally, emotionally as a mindset reset, right? Mindset reset, consciously and subconsciously. But it is knowing that once you drop weight, let's say that's a pattern that we want to create in nine weeks. What happens after nine weeks? Once you drop the weight, how would you like to feel? What kind of a dress would you like to put on? And why? Why? Why would that dress versus another dress feel good for you? Why would this weight be better than where you are today? So when we go to the gym, we have people who help us in a gym. When we want to travel, we either take a tour or we uh, take a map and we go places and we have a schedule unless you wanna go and veg. But why do you want to experience those? There's people who like museums. There's people who love the challenge of climbing a mountain, right? And there's people who go to Hawaii to ride the, to be, to ride the ocean and the waves because they love to surf. So what is it that we want to be, to feel when we achieve the things we do? Even money, having a lot of money, plethora of money, great. But what do I want that for? How will that enhance my life? Do I want a bigger house? Do I want a bigger house for the Joneses? Or do I want a bigger house because I have this dream of a house with a swimming pool so that my kids can run around? And as I grew up, without a swimming pool or I grew up swimming, I want my children to have the same. See, now that is an emotional connection to the thought process. My client dropping nine pounds and 
finding someone helping her husband gave her a sense of feeling good about herself, compartmentalizing her time better, and valuing herself better and more. So this word that I say, I matter, is very important. I matter as much as you do. I matter as much as my children. I matter as much as my family members or even my pet. We all do. Ellen matters as much as our former President Bush. So it doesn't matter. We all matter as human beings. Hmm. What you like to drink matters to you. Simply. So every day, in every way, accept and appreciate yourself far more deeply than ever before. So every step that you take on this beautiful path that you walk on leads you to somewhere better, leads you somewhere that you are happier. And that is the best healing we can do within. And that's where everything starts. It starts with you. Hmm. So, oh, let's see. Let's go on a trip. <laughs> Arina, you're on. Lisa Mokur, let's go on a trip. Okay. Um, by all means, I would love to go on a trip. And Arine, would you please also contact me? I want to talk to you about something. And here is one lady. Uh, Arine is looking for a position, a job, a part-time uh, between nine and three. So any of my viewers, if you happen to have a position, a job, temporary part-time, not temporary, but a part-time, that you have for a beautiful go-getter, 24-year-old girl. By all means, would you please contact me or just right there, find Arine and let her know. Uh, I feel like this can be an incredible place that I can also connect people. You know what's going to happen next week? Ooh, I have to say this. This month is the beginning. I love October. I love October because I, October is to me autumn. I love autumn. To me, it's warmth, it's coziness, and hmm, so much is happening with my nonprofit, with my business, and everything else. I'm speaking in three places. I've been asked to speak, and, and I love it. I'm going to be speaking at uh, an, another event this coming Saturday on November 2nd. And hopefully I'm going to be speaking in many other places to share and spread the word of Heal Within. But next week I have a guest and we're going to be live with my guest. And I will be posting more information about that. So starting this month, I want you to be more in tune and watch our episodes on Heal Talk with Lisa. Because every other week I'm going to have a guest on our show. And you never know. This can turn into Lisa TV, right? <laughs> so thank you for all of you being here. Uh, take care of yourself. And remember, you must stand up for yourself and know that you matter. God bless you. And may the universal light be with you. This is Lisa Bubari. Until next week. Talk to you later. Let's do this.
can go louder I will leave that for another day see you next week be well <laughs>